Being in a multicultural country like Malaysia, there are times where stereotypes right. are inevitable. Okay. How do we react to these stereotypes? We're talking about it today at the Table Talk Podcast. Let's hit it, Fergie. That's a, that's a wrong sound effect. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back the to the Table Talk Podcast. It's your boys, the Mings, noise, with noise, noise. another two boys at the table of, uh, hey, it's a brand new set. Okay. Maybe he's just having fun on his own Yeah. Guys, it's, a, it's a new set. Seriously. It's you know? a new set. It's, it's a new set. It's, 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 a, it's, it's new for you guys. So happy. Music color, video. Color compliments my skin. Correct. Oh, yay. What? Speaking of color yeah. of the skin mm. today, that's what we're really talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that not was really, not that. That's not really. <laughs> not really. How are you guys doing? It's a, it's a end of March. It that's it. First quarter of the year. Gone. Oh, At the time of yeah. recording, of course, when this comes out, it's already April the 4th. 4th. Me the fourth. I mean, just me the. F- sorry, just wait, lah, Matthew. Man. Sorry, I'm just sorry. <laughs> Guys, let's introduce this. Let's joke. introduce the boys at the round. It's not round table more. We're back to the uh, the triangle for oh, now. Man. Um, hey, you hey. got a new face. Let's start with the. Let's start with a new face. What's up, Nathaniel? How's it going? Who are you? What you do? Mm. Hi, hey. my name is Nathaniel. Oi, and I. Okay. What do, you, what do you do, bro? What do I do? I don't know. Every time I that one, every time I, the guests I, come on to introduce her, I, I suddenly know. got identity crisis. What, I, 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 I <laughs> what do I do? Stuff, what, what do, do you I do? do? Oh my I God. make people look pretty online. Oh, do oh, that, oh, man. It's true. Oh, sounds wow. questionable, but that's yeah. great. So many questions. So the Daniel does uh, account managing and strategy mm. at Blank Slate. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, he's, uh, yeah. He's one of the key, key boys. Key boys. Uh, but speaking about keys. <laughs> Lucky Kunchi. <laughs> we got, speaking about keys, we got. One key member of the team as well. We got Matthew with us, one half of the Penang boys. Matthew, yeah, everyone else who doesn't know who you are, give us a one-liner about who you are. Hello, everybody. I'm uh, director producer of Blank Slate. Hey. And yet, yeah, is it? Thank you, Why Matthew. You that Why that? Why that? Why that? Why that? Why that? Why I felt like a joke. I mean, every time. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm crying. I'm not crying. yet, not yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, um, you, you gotta go easy in the sound effects. Okay. No, I'm so happy you guys finally are it's, freaking like monitors it's been in. It's less than five minutes. <laughs> We're pumping up on the effects. I enjoyed right? it. This is great. So, we've got a new showrunner for the Takeaway uh, Table podcast, okay, Jeremy, yeah. who's okay. been a long time member of the team now. Is he whispering into the mic some more today? No, today oh, we there's ran no out mic for yeah. mic. Sorry. Well, we, we, okay. we actually do have one more, but. We don't mm. have enough mics here, but we'll talk about it another time. Okay. Jeremy's implementing some new rules. Oh, what's the rules? New things. For example, like everyone has to have in ears and monitors. Because, hey. because Fancy. yeah, all of us, because every time I trigger a sound, you guys have no idea what's going on. And then you'll just talk over the clip. Have to be in ear, is it? Man. Yes. So you all can hear me in ear. So penny. Okay. Oh yeah. So penny. Yeah. Anyway. Headphones is not the way. La. Let's jump into today's oh. topic. The reason why we have no, no? other guests. <laughs> Okay. It's so bad. We're talking about stereotypes today, and there's three Chinese boys and one Indian boy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of, kind of, kind of still. Is still okay, but before Indian, before we jump Indian, into it, let's Indian. clear the air. We're not here to like. We're not here to break down the political ID. Uh, the political idea behind why stereotypes are used in like correct, correct. Okay. people's agenda. Well, are we here to propagate Chinese we're agenda? Not, we're not. We're, we're not even <laughs> going to try to make sense of it. Why? We because... just want to talk about it and ask why it exists. Okay. okay. How it exists in today's society. All right. Uh, so, because I think it, it's more than just race. So we're just asking why is it, does it exist? We're going to explore the little ways it tickles our butt. Oh, huh? Are we talking about the same stereotype? Uh? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and now we know why Nathaniel is on the set today. That's crazy. Oh, That's no. crazy. All right, man, I'll kick it off. What's, oh, what, what's uh, happening? Uh, what's happening? Uh, well, uh, today today is raining. So that's pretty nice. It is. It is raining. It is I woke up rain. and I was like, eh? Let me see yeah. I forgot it was Monday today for a while. That was still the weekend, man. Uh, yeah, that's I that's, wish that's, it is. That's, 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 um, oh, today, I, I guess, uh, what, what are we talking about? We're talking about stereotypes, right? Mm, um, mm. Uh, we live in a very funny time of Malaysia, right? Where everyone like supposedly quote unquote woke, right? You know, we're talking about oh, online got to be this, this and that, this and that. But then everyone is like low key racist in Malaysia. So like you know, uh, <laughs> just saying low we key. all low key racist, okay? <laughs> yeah. And then we will do the whole Are excuse, we? you know, I like don't know. no, 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 I can't be racist because I have a so and so friend yeah. and he is another race, you know. That's true. Okay, but but we're talking about stereotypes, right? So and what, it's actually a topic suggested by Marcus Fong. Marcus Fong. Shout out, Marcus! Thanks for. The a great suggestion. Marcus Wong, where are you um, from, Marcus Wong? I, 
We don't know, Minghan. It's, it's in the notes. You, Marcus, I know as much as you <laughs> Marcus Fong, Malaysia. Anyway. Um, stereotypes. Yeah, say, it, say it. It's a very, very long time ago. Say it, Minghan. It's a very, very long time ago. He wanted to know where stereotypes go in Malaysia. Subang kia, race, jobs. Okay, I get it. Um, oh, man. Subang kia, race, jobs, work, field. I need to understand what work, field is. Do you mean the field of work or the working in the fields? Because both. then we're going to bring back the stereotypes way <laughs> both, back. Both, both. Way back to the BJ oh, yeah. Tima times, right? <laughs> okay, so real quick, uh, Marcus Fong, thanks for, the, thanks for the suggestion. This is pretty interesting. Uh, because actually, if you guys paid attention in Kajan Tepatan and everything, or Sejarah, Ooh. right? Uh, stereotypes actually have a, uh, a historical element in Malaysia. Because we were divided by the colonizers uh, into certain groups. And I guess some things just stuck, you know? But okay. Before we go into the serious stuff. Before we go into like before, racial and community, economical go, stereotypes. What are some common stereotypes you guys know? We were joking That's about right. a few already. And one of them revolves around Pinang. Uh, what was the, what Pinang, was the what is the number one stereotype you receive <laughs> from hold people? Hold on, wait, before we go in, uh, every wow. time we talk about Pinang, right? There's a very big mix, mixed audience, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of Pinang kias that love this shit. Yes. And then there are some really sensitive ones. So I just want to say, guys. Yep. It's not like we hate Penang. We freaking love Penang. Okay? I freaking love Penang. You guys That's are true. one of the, the best places in Malaysia in terms of everything. That's right. So please, yes, I agree. Easy, totally easy. agree. Okay? Relax. Uh, easy, bro. If there's any stereotyping, I would say straight away, uh, people always say stereotyping, right? Uh, Penang Island is the real Penang. Mainland one is not Ah, Penang. that one we don't talk about also. I want to understand <laughs> why you all consider <laughs> that. <laughs> Actually, that one only... Actually, that's quite true, ma. Why, because why, why? most things happen in the island, la. But I know, lah. If we your know, mainland, right? If we no <laughs> island, island, <laughs> island. You saw, you saw the anger that came out. Like let's let's this let's talk about that, la, You know? Yeah. Because why, why the sudden change of tone? Yeah, why in the voice? Oh, sweet man. to no because sour. I think I think yeah, it's a stereotype. I do not know how it came off, but uh, every time it's like, hey, you from Penang, right? Yeah, yeah. Where are you from? I love mainland. A uh, mainland fake one. Don't tell me, ah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm an island. Yeah, so I'm that's island. crazy. Like What's even that? the Penang kia got their own stereotype one. Actually, I have a good friend. Okay. Uh, just give well, name, name my name. Uh, let's drop names, uh, right. uh, Let's just go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Desmond, 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 okay, Desmond, 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 Desmond. Okay, that's from right. mainland, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You didn't say uh, like uh, wait, wait, uh, we are uh, wait, Island is a real Penang. They say, huh? No, mainland is also considered Penang. Then they got oh. really, really triggered. They're more triggered than us, lah. But so okay, what's the stereotype? The stereotype is that uh, the mainland mainlanders are not Penang. as cool as the islanders. Yes. Right. Yeah, that, that's the real stereotype. Right, right, Why? Right. Uh? I have no idea. I don't yeah, want to trigger yeah. anybody, but no, I'm just from Island. That's it. Okay. So he's going to stop. See, no, 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 no. He's so scared, bro. No. He doesn't even talk about it. He's worried. He's okay, worried. okay uh, so give us a couple other things that you hear about Penang, then we'll mm. maybe give you a couple of things I that just, we- I just put it out there. Uh, first, uh, bad drivers, right? Yeah, correct, so correct, do you do you correct. agree with this one? No. Okay. We are not bad drivers. say that. We are- Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, honestly, uh, I feel Penang drivers are one of the best drivers. We can drive into narrow roads. It's true. Yeah. No, it's true. We know you how guys, to fit. You, know you guys to grew fit. up in the darkness. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, our roads are really small compared to KL yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. it is. But yeah, we know how to... You guys uh, can drive anywhere, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why we look, we look, we are kind of aggressive because we know how to muscle I like, up. I like, that's so basically, you guys are aggressive and, and uh, professional, but to everyone else, you're freaking rampage on yeah. the road. La. Okay, uh, <laughs> maybe give us one more. Uh, <laughs> I think every one of you thinks that we all uh, prefer our food over all of your food, right? Correct. And that's the stereotype. But, but that's a stereotype that I also believe. I believe Penang food is the best. That's it. Me, it is, mm. it's, it's best and also it's cheap. Yeah. It's, but then, well, that it, makes sense. Mm. But for me, I adapt to KL food really, and adapt to the price really, so I don't really bother. Yeah. Wow, yeah. what a man, Matthew. Yeah, yeah. What a all right. Well, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's discover a little bit more about Nathaniel because he's a new face on the podcast. Nathaniel uh, hails from uh, the land of above. Huh? Definitely not down under. The rice bowl no. of Malaysia. The, the right? rice bowl of Malaysia. Is I think that, it is, is called that. that. It is called right. something. All right. Like that. So, Daniel, yeah. you're from Kedah. Alo Sta. Oh, hey. Oh. And that's closer down. to Thailand. That's right. That's right. Tell us a little bit more about like growing up. Did you have a lot of like stereotypes? Um, I was just gonna say different races for friends. Sure. But <laughs> sure, sure, let's, sure. Let's start with different races. Yeah. Right. You grew let's... up with friends. I grew up with stereotypes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just rough. That's rough. Okay, um, you wait, you yourself, you are I myself, I'm mixed, right? Yes. Mm. So I'm half Chinese okay. and half Indian. Love okay. It. But okay. I have a face of, of a m of a Malayu. Mm. So, yeah, mm. can you look? My name is Ali. 
So you got the, you, so you got the, the full. You got the best of the. I got the, the full one. I got the full. Okay, I'm muhiba. That's okay. what they what they say. You know, what genetically muhiba. So um, it, friends, I think yeah, I've got like all sorts of friends: Malay, Chinese, Indian. Cool. But I always seems to get in trouble every time when it comes to Ramadan. Okay. Oh yes, this yes. Is, He's this mentioned is, this couple of times. Okay. It's okay. A problem because okay. I will be happily going. Go and get chicken oh. rice. Okay? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> at the shop, okay? And I order Anga. Just to see your father. Oh, and then, man. And then, the, the tenor speaks really good ch- like Chinese as well. Yes. So can you give us an order in Chinese, bro? Give us an order. Like a yeah. proper special Anga. order. Give me a chance to see your father. And then the uncle just looking at you like, like Gao me cho this guy. Are they you? This guy was giving me jail, man. Are they saya tama pagi penjara? Are they you? Jangan datang sini makan babi ya. No, 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 no. Oh, uncle, get you ah, get back, get back. At the at the poor guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And uncle is just like, what's happening? Uncle's just like, dude, I'm about to call somebody. <laughs> is is, is that what it was like growing up for you over there? Um. Not not all the time, particularly, but mm. I think there was one uh, exact experience. Actually, it was me and my brother. We oh went boy. to uh, actually, where was it? It was an ice cream bar. Huh? Shucks, I can't remember the ice cream bar right now. We're not going to drop names, but it's an ice cream bar. In okay? Alastar, lovely place. Yes, in Alastar. Alastar got ice cream. We got ice cream. I see. It. <laughs> okay, what kind of stereotype is that? You see, this is very stuff. <laughs> this, 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 kind of kind of this is the kind of questions that trigger a lot of people. <laughs> uh, uh, you know? Trigger. <laughs> Yeah. I see, I see. Now I know, I, I know. I thought you only had the telecom tower. Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. oh, we also have Wi-Fi, guys. Oh, that's amazing. That's you amazing. Know what do you think? Uh, what's that? McDonald's? Uh? We, we, we have. <laughs> okay. Our KFC is also very cantik. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So, so, yeah, yeah. Let's jump into the ice cream bar story. Yes, okay. ice cream bar. So me and my brother, we enter this ice cream bar and then we're mm. about to order rum and raisin. Because half oh, of me snap. enjoys uh, rum and raisin, right? Okay, so okay. then I go in and then we order and then Slady looks up and said, Will you say thing? You mean I see? And oh. I go like, what? <laughs> okay. Ooh. And then, so this lovely lady is a fellow Indian, okay, a fellow oh. Indian friend. So we're like, we call Aka. I'm actually Indian too. So I would like a scoop of rum and raisin. And she goes like, no, oh, no, tablet, no. tablet, tablet. Can I think I see dulu? Wow, and we are all like, we, mak dia. Ma, dear, ma, All aku. I just wanted is rum and raisin. Ma, oh, very, very strict, huh? Strict, oh. bro. And they would just ask all this sort of question, and sometimes right, right, you just right. be like, um, right. No, I'm actually Indian. And then by the time I took out my IC, then she was like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. You nampak macam layu ah. Nampak macam layu. Okay, okay. Oh. So all these racial I see, assumptions. I see. Yeah, huh? Rocking the boat, man. So okay, wait. What are some of the stereotypes that you get be- being uh, half uh, half Chinese, half Indian? Stereotypes being half. Oh, then you'll just be like, <clears throat> Apun nenek lai leo lah. Oh. Yo. Oh, there was this experience. Serious. Mm. Best experience ever. I <laughs> this is the best time. Here we go. Here we Somewhere go. pyramid. Here we go. <laughs> oh, so I oh, went man. to Somewhere oh. pyramid with a friend. <laughs> yeah. To buy Christmas gifts. Oh, okay? dear. Okay. And then uh, we were in, we entered the lift and we're going to go and uh, pay parking and chow oh, lah. Oh, right? I'm scared already. Yeah. Okay. So as soon as we entered the lift, then uh, it was just two of us. <laughs> This, City of uh, dreams. Mother and like oh, no. kid of like two Family. kids no! walks in. Right? <laughs> and then, oh, all I remember no. it, it was a packed lift, right? And the mom was like, "Just a thing, huh? You better listen to me, huh? Oh, I will no. call the apun and catch you." Oh, no. I was. She pointed at you when she said that. No, she was looking at the kids. She was pointing at the kids. No, don't be a white tan, huh? We are in white tan. I will call the apun and catch you. And I was just like, <laughs> oh. And I was looking at my friend, and all my friend could do is just like. Can you, can you subtitle that for people who don't understand Chinese? So basically what the, the mom was saying uh, is yeah, like, yes. hey, if you don't listen to me, I'm going to call that Indian fella over there to catch you and yeah. take you home. I think that's one of the biggest stereotypes in Malaysia, right? It is. Why do Indian people get so good at catching people? I know. I need to understand the historical context of this. Were, like, they the, were they the police force? Were they the Uchiha of Malaysia or something? I, 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 like, I, what's happening? Like, why? Where? Why catch people? Why catch people? Yeah, and then what you do with the people? Exactly. No, the question is, why catch the kid? Catch the mom. <laughs> <laughs> the kid got no money. Bro. You know, in my head, when the first time someone told me that, right? No one's yeah. my picture in my head. Uh. The uncle on the, the, the roti motorcycle yeah. or the ice, cream, the ice cream motorcycle come and chase me. 
And yeah. I, do I want him to catch me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I really want. So I, I don't have to chase I, your I, damn bike. Okay. Yeah, you I want the broke guy. You come and come. So I can. I don't need to chase you. Sorry. I'm not sure yeah. if that's the same. <laughs> no, nope, that's not the same at what, all. What? You're what? chasing him. <laughs> yeah, that's actually that's actually quite something we hear a lot, right? And I'm yeah. still surprised. I'm surprised it's still people still say that today. Yeah. Um, but the stereotypes like people assume that you drink better. Definitely. You can handle your alcohol. But genetically, I do. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's true. Chinese have the worst drinking tolerance. Yeah, yeah. Indians have the best in Malaysia. Malays, we shouldn't be talking about drinking tolerance. <laughs> All right, just a, fun fact. just a fun <laughs> just fact. Just a fun fact. Interesting. <laughs> fact. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so, so, I mean, some of the stuff that we hear is, is like very locational based, very race based. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but there are a couple of things as well. I mean, even mm. Malaysia, we hear stuff like, you know, besides the Penang one, mm-hmm. we hear that Ipoh has the prettiest girls. I... Okay. Yeah. Really? I, 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 Actually, I, I kind of agree. I think oh. Penang and Ipoh have some of the prettiest girls. I, I, Penang though. Hmm. Oh. oh, hey, hey, guys, what are you trying to I tell you, I got Penang. Penang got so many to talk about. Oh, wow, it's like a potential getters killed. Okay? Yeah, no okay. joke, no joke. Okay, okay. okay so uh, a couple of <laughs> things is like the prettiest girls are from Ipoh. Sarawak, but, uh, what? People don't know. People still live on trees or not? Actually, true story. <laughs> oh, you Mio, you got a friend. What's your, your Lucy? Remember Lucy? Yeah, so yes. Mingyu had a friend from UK. This yeah, is true. real deal, okay, guys? Real deal. I, I was part of the conversation, okay? Okay. Uh, Lucy was a friend from Mingyu's and one of the very few friends he had from Lachpur. Maybe the only friend from England. From very England. sweet lady, okay? England. Superbly white, like white as white can be, okay? And she's very, very nice. Like, she's, she's never been to Asia before. She's not oh, stereotypically okay. white. She yeah. is like just white. And you know, Lachpur is like a, a suburb or like a countryside, right? Yeah. So they don't really like, see, I might be stereotyping Lachpur. Yeah, you already are. <laughs> <laughs> but, but from the new stories is that Lodbrook is a very quiet town mm, and they okay. just do their own stuff and they're chilled, right? So she planned the trip to KL, all right? Shit yeah. you not. And she actually made it. So we picked her up from the airport. Okay. For some reason, me and you decided to start messing with her on the way back to yeah. the house, okay? <laughs> we freaked, wait, Just for context, uh, we didn't pick her up in like a, a, a jeep or a, a van, okay? Mm. We were driving a freaking Estima, okay? Which is like a, a, a nice van. Like a <laughs> auto doors. Yeah, auto auto yeah. doors, okay? <laughs> this girl stepped into an auto door and then she asked like, so where are we going? Where do you guys live? I mean, you said, oh, we actually live in one of the tallest tree houses in, in our area. <laughs> oh and she was she, like, she kept, she smiled. And she was like, like, oh, oh how, how really? Do how do you up? get up? <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and then you were like, oh, inside the, 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 the tree is big oh. enough for a leaf inside. Oh my God. <laughs> and she was Shit. like, wow, that's really interesting. And I swear, Lucy, I don't think you're ever listening to this, but for real, <laughs> she thought we live in three house with an elevator inside. <laughs> it's, it's quite next level. I mean, think about it. The Wi-Fi connection is way better. Than yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have to say that. So. <laughs> so it's a real thing. Seriously, I don't think people mean yeah. to say it, but I think there's a lot of, there's just a lot of people, like things people don't yeah. know. And I mean, yeah. there's, there's one more here in the episode guide. It uh. says that Clang's full of gangsters. Oh, hey, this one don't Yes and no. I think it's not just yeah. Clang. I think like everywhere. Every area. Every area. It's yeah. just yeah. that gangsters. maybe... Maybe Clang, they organize like gatherings more often. <laughs> Hard to say. No, no, it's true. Like, ask Darren. One thing, ask Darren. One thing oh, that yeah, I yeah. mix with my Subang Kia friend as well, right, uh. is that the Subang and the USJ gangsters have, are the real deal. Like they organize stuff that is like, the, you know how USJ has so many okay. USJ 8, like line dancing night, in the oh, weekdays. Like, like, like what? Uh, what are we talking about? Like organizing it's, what? It's, uh, they have like, like organized uh. hits one, you know. Oh, like if 13 shit. not happy, 12, 13 will go to 12 and mess them up or oh, something like that. these numbers yeah. out here. Yeah, wow. No, no, because USJ 13 and then USJ, there's so many USJs, right? But right. Uh, I think there's a common misconception. Everywhere is a gangster. Like, just how big money are. That's, that's basically it. That's yeah. true. Uh, just fun fact, don't mess with the gangsters, okay? Shut up. Okay, so I mean, based on the stories that we're hearing here, right? A lot of the root of stereotypes mm. and okay, maybe I don't want to jump into racial discrimination because that's just a whole other topic. That's true. The that's root of a lot of stereotypes is actually a lack mm. of understanding or lack of knowledge about mm. this particular topic, right? So for us, mm. like Minghan and I, we have no idea what the real beef is between the mainland and islanders in Penang. Like <laughs> why, why is there such a strong rivalry? Yeah. Technically, you're the same state, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. But, but you see, but... <laughs> We don't understand that, but then if we bring it and localize that context to to what PJ and Subang, I can't, I can't, I can't see the difference. Okay, Minghan just doesn't I, generally yep, doesn't this terrible. Is, so I don't even there's a very, there's a very this. like, okay, maybe it's not a rivalry. It's more of like people. There's a stereotype about Damansara kids or PJ okay. kids, right? Okay. That we will never leave PJ. Yeah, which I feel like it I, it's not I'm a stereotype. contributing. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's not a stereotype. It can't be a stereotype if it's true. Oh, yeah. 
It's true, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, it's true. so so the it's stereotype true. is right. Like the assumption and the general mm-hmm. assumption is people yeah. who grew up in PJ Damasara yeah. will always hate leaving PJ Damasara. That's so if you want to meet up or you want to see them or if they Come move houses, right? Yeah. It's always in the same area. Come Damasara. For what we go KL. And it's... <laughs> It doesn't make sense. Got so much traffic. You and come same, here. Same thing as island mainland. Oh, so really? that's the thing. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to go mainland. You have to pay uh, toll, you know. That's true because ah, the bridge. Ah. Okay, okay, ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. They want to invite you to get congested together. Yeah. <laughs> I understand now. Okay. So okay, like okay, okay. The, 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 the stereotype about PJ people, we, I mean, growing up and hearing about it, I was like, we would laugh among ourselves. That's true. But I would meet people and be like, oh, I can't stand like uh, Damasara girls or guys because they would never want to get up. I'm like, Huh? Is that a criteria in dating now? Oh. Like, oh, it cannot be a PJ guy. Because, like, it's so strong, you know, the stereotype. And Why? I feel like... You all oh, don't love loyalty, is it? Huh? Loyalty to your <laughs> that's, area, that's is it? Crack. Huh? That's crack. Like, Minga and I, our family, right? People, we, move, huh? we move Sorry. house, like, three times, right? Two times, right? But it's always oh, in the same. Sarah. It's not even, like, 5km radius. <laughs> oh, it's the same area. Yeah. It's quite nuts, right? Do you, know how, do you know how well logistically planned you have to be to execute something like that? Huh? <laughs> So you guys don't like well-planned people, yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. I don't think that's what they meant. The you all like loose, okay, okay. unplanned life, is it? <laughs> Go on date, your okay? Okay, 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 I love I love all the KL people. Okay. I, don't what you what you <laughs> I don't know. Trigger him suddenly. <laughs> I heard now this podcast need a bit of drama. It's so true. Like, it's true. Like, this is how we get the views, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Nathaniel and Matthew, you guys are both uh, oh, before shit. before you guys joined Blank Slate, you guys were both in the production scene. Yeah. Uh, yes. You were with Reservoir and you were with Naga previously, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What are some stereotypes that you hear about? Um, your own sort of industry and the industry outside. Oy. Because you guys uh. work not just with... So, okay, I guess the production industry is... You see, against stereotype. I was going to say, it's one, of the, <laughs> it's, it's one of the industries that work with every other industry, right? Yeah. But that's everyone. <laughs> Shut up, lah. Okay, so you guys work no, with actually, like brands, true. agency uh, talents. It's kind of true, yeah. yeah. And true. yourselves inside, right? So, so okay, let, let's give uh, maybe a couple of stereotypes about the production industry first. More, more importantly, because you're Naga, agency... Oh, and your production. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We should show the stereotypes. Sure, sure, go on. Oh. Sure, go on. Go on. Hey, shoot, shoot me. Yeah, yeah. I'll shoot, I'll shoot you back. Me. Um. <laughs> let's go. Okay, sorry. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. No, let's not. Okay, let's no, no, go. Let's, real, let's, let's start with. Uh, I tell you what. Let's kick the ball rolling. Uh, Matthew, why don't you start? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I think I think we assume that agencies got always their own feedback and it's not relevant and it always makes no sense. Oh. Right? I, think, I think that's what I heard from most of no, it's true, people it's around it's me. True, it's so true. Yeah. Sometimes myself as well. On the production end, uh, there's a lot of like, uh, what do I say? Uh, there's a lot of dissatisfaction, right? When you Ex- make all this kind of thing, right? And then like, oh, change, change, change. Then go to client, then client one, make the first one. And yeah, then like, yeah, all yeah. like, wow, lah, you want to see, waste how many. Yeah. Like, okay, okay, but I think okay. at the end of the day is it's, how you control your client and how correct, you control your agency. Correct, but correct, I correct. think that's the thing that's not happening in the industry. Correct, uh, correct, correct. You know, we Asian people are great at communication. Lah, so, you know, that's why, you know, all stereotypes <laughs> don't exist. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Relationship I, all healthy on, you know. But I think I agree to a certain extent yeah. because like in the creative process, right, that definitely there is a director right, coming from the production house and yeah. the director knows what yeah. it is, that the shots, the angles that needs to be taken. And to a certain um, extent, mm. an agency or, or, or people from the agency can only see that far. Right? Right, yes. right, but right. the director sees so many different point of view and like different angles that right, right. would essentiate or make the product look even better. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, uh, but just because on the agency with the client side, there's a little bit of like a barrier or issue with and communication. Then the agency also go on director. Exactly. <laughs> and happy new year. Not just one, multiple uh, directors. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At different times of the day, it's a different director. And then the client, exactly. the client also got multiple directors. Exactly. The client marketing is director one, <laughs> the servicing is director two, <laughs> the or the kaki so also director. Everything you're hearing from Ming Han <laughs> is actually a production stereotype, stereotype. towards agencies and brands. Yeah. 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 What's weird about Blank Slate? He said, we're all of the above. <laughs> so yeah. we we have the right to stereotype everyone because number one, we all started as freaking YouTubers, yeah. okay? Yeah. We're the, the victim of stereotype of the whole creative industry right. in Malaysia. So please lah, we're just sharing the love. Mm-hmm. Okay, the no, stereotype. let's go back to, uh, so, okay, so, so some of the things that you were saying is that, mm. Mm. yeah, uh, besides production. Yeah, the, I think, besides production. Yeah. Uh. Mm. I think mainly you only talk about agency, this kind of stuff, like uh, well, you, they don't you understand what they're doing, yeah, understand what they're doing, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, so, it all it all spurs yeah. from the dissatisfaction oh. and the disagreements, lah. The, the yeah. disagreements, the yeah, disagreements, this 
Why is suddenly my English green green. But also, yeah. also, I think there's another stereotype as well. We always expect that something will always go wrong with the agency. Right? True, true, yeah, true. Like we always have a, must have a backup plan. All the drama. Yeah, yeah. All, yeah the it's things that like, oh, they'll come back, oh, um, we, we want to change to a 45 seconder instead of a 30 seconder. And then like, oh, you right, extend right. the duration, then we have more stuff to do. But yeah. in the initial yeah. quote, wasn't 30 seconds. So, oh, it's too dear. Yeah, and, and right, the, 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 right. but then also the agency will say, oh, so, but I do <laughs> okay, not have on, a budget. Okay. I added for you. So it's GG. You even needed it. I added for you. This guy with the drum rolls. <laughs> this drum roll's quite, quite oh, elaborate. What, 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 what was this sound? One more time? No, what is that? What is that? Tuk, tuk, chung. What's Your one is he gives the full roll then the <laughs> drum solo. So. <laughs> Let's bring the keys in. <laughs> <laughs> There's no drum roll that ends with a keys like so, that. Oh okay. my God. So I think maybe let's quickly talk about it. Another stereotype about in, uh, when you work with uh, multiple parties, right? Yeah. It's mm. always a stereotype actually to, <laughs> to bad mouth or this. The yeah. one who is above you. <laughs> it, it just feels nicer, right? Like, it, it almost becomes like this. It almost becomes this like bonding tool. That's why. That's why yeah. I, like you see, you go on production set, right? There's no such thing as a production set, right? Where the 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 team uh, is happy with like the, Everyone. the director or the, or, the, or, the, or, the, or the client. <laughs> yeah. I know the things I heard said, just, about, said about me in this just, time. It's just crack. Uh. It's, but it's also like, what, what, do, you, true, what do you think it is? Uh, why do people do that? They need a vendor. They need to I don't know. come yeah. together. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so because like, I think once you are, you are a group of people, you're all working for this certain director, then you're like, uh, already please him, but then he's like, like not pleased enough. Then like, mm. oh, then we're like, oh, let's just rent together. Yeah, sounds Oh, yeah. Ah. yeah. So there's this satisfaction. Then after that, all these kind of nonsense come out. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I tell you. The satisfaction mm. and uh, the lack of knowledge or understanding is the, the fertilizer for the stereotyping. Fertilizer. I think, also I think it builds up also because yeah, yeah. At, at this mm. moment you see the PAs will just complain about the director, then the yeah. director will complain to the, about the agency with the producer, and then the agency will complain about the client. Yeah. Then the it brand. goes yeah, up yeah. all the way. It's it's it's, yeah, a, it's, yeah. a, it's a it's cascading just, effect. Yeah. Right? Production it's just agency. Back to back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what about you? So you you've come from a uh, producer. Uh, writer, almost director the level. Agency you land, you yeah. shoot stuff, and then now you're more into the <laughs> the digital. The digital. <laughs> you, you're doing a lot of like account uh, management and campaign overseeing, right? Yeah. What stereotypes have you debunked? Right. Debunked. Uh, I mm. definitely being able to work uh, closely with production uh, mm. guys, right? Mm. Because I really like what we said, right? Agency and production. Don't you don't really, you know, see a happy family yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. one meeting room and go like, yeah, your ideas is splendid. Like, yeah. <laughs> try again. Yeah. You know, and then at the back like, Papa, this fella doesn't even know what is he doing. <laughs> Papa, <laughs> idea lah, properly idea. Yeah. <laughs> Want to do this, but do another campaign. What's your problem, yeah. right? Um, but especially, I mean, after uh, mm-hmm. joining Blank Slate too, I think it was really eye-opening because like, Everyone has mm. to work together, right? Mm. Your production has not, to work together. Not sponsored, uh, by the way. Blank State never sponsors it. This is not a sponsor that. No, no, but, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But ideally, you're, you're, you're forced in a, to be in a scenario where you have to work with mm. or closely with the directors and producers also, right? right? right. And uh, understanding that, you know, with the, the, whole, the whole scene, right? The yeah. whole agency and, uh, and production, like always constantly being in like a... We, like agency people will always like have an upper hand and always be looking at like... See how these guys come like that? Lah. Come on, be bad. You know? Oh. Like, always uh, backed out on the timeline. <laughs> you have to rush. Oh, you have to rush shit. and you don't change. You're speaking from own experience right now. Own experience. You <laughs> sounds, know, quite, like, sounds quite personal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Towards Matthew. No, I'm just hey! kidding. No, 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 guys. We... I love yeah, Matthew, guys. Yeah, sure. I just say there's no such Matthew. Got don't don't have a late deadline. One. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, always early, one. always it, early right. ahead of time. Maybe uh, it's just you. me, lah. Like, so <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one, didn't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But, yeah. but I, I, you know, in the, in the most ideal situation, right, having all of that, but still being forced to, like, you mm. know what, we have to turn ideas out, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. and like. Mm. Not forcefully, but like having the creative, well, it's going to be big words, but communal imagination right. in the same mm-hmm. room and yeah, being yeah. able to like recognize each other for the, each other's strengths right, and right. then like being able to pull off the greatest act. You know? well, I mean, before we even, we dive in further into an industry that not many people are, are involved in. Yeah. I, think th- I think these stereotypes are quite <laughs> weird in the workplace, right? For, like, for example, uh, if you are in an office job, the goal is to become a really good worker, mm. right? To, to, to climb the ladder and everything. But, 
the stereotype around hard workers are uh, you this guy is a you know kiss ass or yeah. like uh, want to you know want Ooh, to become yes. the whatever kiss then you want to work towards being a manager position right yeah. but the stereotype yeah. around managers all of them are, are, are idiots uh. they yeah. just want to you know they want to take all your your credit and everything so there's yeah. a I don't know in, in the workplace stereotypes are actually more often than not more toxic compared to like you know anything good i think everyone's asian here so the stereotype of like asians work hard is like too, too bad lah. that's the ground that's, that's the the base standard for everyone right yeah. but why in the world are stereotypes so i don't know I, to me it's the same thing as like in any industry hmm. um why is this i don't know stereotypes coming from more of a negative place more most of the time uh is it is it our modern day gossip is it uh is this a, a way to like, I, I guess, if you're bad mouthing something, someone else, you want to take their position instead. Why Why do we stereotype? Because you talk about it, right? The, the Penang, Halo Star, Klang, Subang, Daman Sarai, the stereotypes are just like, uh, just, just whatever, bad mouth. Lah. But why come workplace stereotypes uh, have this damaging effect, right? That, um, for example, yeah. I, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I know for people who are in like, auditing firms or in accounting firms, right? You would always want to stereotype someone else like as the best worker because you know you're not un- like wow he's working very hard. But mm. what if he is working very hard because he wants to make it? Why is the stereotype like oh uh, this one is the manager's pet lah? This one is the A class student lah? And then the manager who is like I don't know the worst time is when stereotypes border into gender. So like you know if yeah. it's a it's a lady manager like that right yeah. then wow the stereotype all come out this one is the big B of the whole you know <laughs> uh, the the oh. big B of the the institution like, you know the babbage right that kind of thing right <laughs> I don't know why why I mean it's just an open question like we don't have a, because obviously we're not office workers but yeah. from all the stories that I heard from a lot of people right you know the the production world stereotypes are, are very I think they're very complainy it's it's nothing yeah. we can do about it it's just like uh-huh. um are there complain it's a lot of just venting yeah. right because mm. i think uh, if you are in a production life it's it's really we don't have any real working hours so like yeah. sometimes you know jobs go for like freaking weeks without sleep but in the office scenario for everyone is tuning in in us are office workers why do you guys think uh, stereotypes in office space are so negatively damaging to people you know where where the stereotype mm. comes up and then you ostracize someone and then like clicks are formed and everything in yeah, the same yeah, office, yeah. right? Um, I, I I know I, I know a bit of like uh, some companies that this goes around in actually more often than not. But yeah, that's just my open question. Why is it so toxic sometimes? Stereotypes, you know? Uh, it could be, I mean, it doesn't have to be a racial stereotype most of the time, but man, yeah. office stereotypes, man. I mean, the worst that I felt that was toxic was when Ming Yu and I were, mm. it's not an office, Ming Yu and I were waiting for an Uber outside uh, <laughs> yes. outside Sydney Airport, uh, and every time oh, a white guy, here. a white person yeah, was yeah. in the was in Uber, they cancel the Uber in front of. Office they would look at off. Ming Han, oh, what the heck? like yeah. they look at Ming Han, and then Ming Han like, because you can see the car plate number, right? So uh-huh. Ming Han like, yeah, and then the guy look at Ming Han, and he just like cancel, cancel it, and, and, and he, like, he drive off. And I think what four, five times, uh? three, three, four times. Oh, yeah. What the heck, dude? The only guy who picked us up was an Asian dude. Yeah, so oh, it had dude. to be an Asian dude who picked up an Asian yeah. dude for real. But that was the only time I I experienced like actual racism or stereotyping lah. Man, it didn't help that we were standing next to a whole bunch of China kids. Oh, 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 <laughs> that's yeah, my yeah, that's yeah. my stereotype. So, I yeah, look yeah. at I okay. look at uh, mainland Chinese people and I just like ah oh, help me. <laughs> I just I cannot be in the same room as them. They're <laughs> so loud. But see, so, but see, so does so does are stereotypes which are yeah, yeah. kind of like yeah. Just you know when I when head, when right? I studied like sociology right um stereotypes stereotypes was one of the big chapters that we kind right. of broke down and it it's a couple of things it's misinformation uh yeah. it's a mis it's, it's a lack of understanding and knowledge Obviously. about the subject issue Correct. and it's also a oversimplified generalization of a group of people yeah. Yeah. yeah so when you don't understand a culture or a job or a location right um us being humans right we like to simplify so then our brains have like that peace of mind like, oh yeah, I understand this, right? Yeah. And we do that by putting stereotypes on people. And stereotypes because it's such an easy simplification, right? Like, mm. oh, like, oh, Chinese like to chase money. Yeah. Right? And I mean, not wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not wrong. <laughs> Everyone does though. But, but Indian also, right? want to chase money yeah, too. Yeah, like what, I mean, like what does that actually, like why, why you have to say that? Which, which <laughs> race hate money? <laughs> yeah. 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 So, <laughs> which uh, race? Like, oh, Chinese people are very selfish. Stuff like that, you know? Oh. So when you say stuff like that, right? I mean, I, I know selfish ass people. I know super generous ass people also. Yeah. But when you say it right, it's so easy to, to say that, right? That it goes around, people just kind of remember it as that nugget. Yeah. And I think that's why, that's why there's so much sort of like assumptions being made about people, groups groups yeah. and classes. Um, and I think one of the things that, the, that Jeremy put inside the, the episode was that um, 
is should people feel offended? Hmm. Or should we embrace them? I mean, it's hmm. a bit hard because I feel like some of them you can embrace and be like, oh yeah, like use it for good and positive, right? Oh, you chase money, it means hardworking. Okay, hardworking. Hmm. Uh. But hmm. I mean, I really don't want to jump into this, but you look at the assaults on the Asian community. Yeah, in yeah. The that, that was where I was going right? to go. I think stereotypes, I mean, if, I mean, there are a lot of stereotypes everywhere, That's right? True. But I think the escalation or the extreme case of it is what is happening with the Asian hate right now in, yeah. in the States. Mm. Uh, that the whole thing literally just started with, I mean, given given the fact that uh, the pandemic is not is mm. not a normal circumstance, uh, right? Correct. Yeah. So mm. when you take a pandemic like that and then you attach a race to it, that's what you get, right? Yeah. So can our stereotypes uh, destructive? Yeah, absolutely. So I think if anything, education is definitely number one. Yeah. Uh, I think communication is another point that can combat stereotypes. Uh, you don't need to show IC all the time, you know. That's a yeah. bit. That's a. I mean, some things you can do, la, Correct, right? Because right. there are times where you know people people judge you by just your how you look like. Yeah. Um, yeah. And some more in a country like where we stay in, we are all gradually looking more and more like each other. Correct, you know, that correct. that's where the world will hit anyway, right? Everyone mixing pot or everything right now. Yeah. So, uh? Yeah. <laughs> um, Sorry, that is not <laughs> that is mixing. <laughs> What? The I was gonna heck? go for a whole year. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, I think I think to 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 kind of like uh, bring this conversation to somewhere, I think we can see the effect of stereotyping is really yeah. the attacks that are happening in the Asian societies in in the states right now, or in in anywhere that Asians are a minority. I don't think um, there is enough. I don't know the way we talk about it, even even the way the news reports it. I think yeah. how you guys or anyone talks about stuff like this also plays into the stereotype, right? Yeah. Are we are we talking about the real things that are happening, or are we like, you no? Know, the craziest part was like, remember that shooter? Uh, yeah, yeah. Usually, the if someone, parlor. yeah, yeah, the, the massage parlor, parlor one, right? Yeah. If anyone mm-hmm. were talking about it, they would they would have said like, oh, an Asian guy came in and shot up all the people. But instead, they would say stuff like, uh, eight people hurt in shooting. Yeah. You know. So the messaging is the messaging, different. right? Yeah. Yeah, and we're yeah. all about the messaging life right now, yeah. right? So I guess it's how we say everything. Like even even right yeah. now, the simple things we say, like you know, while well, on the road, the carpet is P one, a confirmed bad driver, that kind of thing, right? <laughs> like the messaging, like you know. Yeah. Um. I I do think this is gonna be uh, I don't know for a mixed race or a multicultural society. Mm. I do think we will have to navigate our way around it. Um. That's true. But man, uh, more often than not, looking at the way things are going right now, I think we all should just take a step back and, and really stand by our Asian brothers and sisters for a while. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. For you guys in the States who are listening, I don't know how you guys tuned in, but I uh, uh, hope you guys are doing better. And uh, please, yeah. uh, slow down. Uh, everything is made in China, guys. Come on. Everything, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't stereotype the, the goods. You don't stereotype the people. Please, thank you oh. very much. <laughs> um, Let's uh <clears throat> let's do a, a a productive exercise. Okay. Let's take oh, one no. stereotype that you either have been aso- associated to or you have had of a group of people. Oh no! And okay. uh, let's kind of reframe that. Each of us do one right now. Oh no! All right, so no. I'll start. Um, <clears throat> one of my stereotypes are of uh, oh. woo, let's think, let's think. Uh, mainland Chinese people. I'll be honest. I I I'm afraid of them. I'm annoyed at them. Right, <clears throat> that's fair. Because they're so loud and uh, they just generally yeah. are just very outspoken people and they it are. irks me quite a bit. <laughs> 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 I, thought, I thought it was a... <laughs> accent was spot on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was spot on. We were trying to recover and I'm <laughs> like, I'm hurt again. Um, I think maybe what I can do uh, to, 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 to realize that, 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 that that's a negative stereotype is the next time I come across Again, it's not, it's not going to be immediate because you know there's not a lot of yeah. like PhD people mm-hmm. in Malaysia right now. But when that happens, maybe what I need to do is just take a, take a step back. I'm like, oh, it's just they grew up in a different environment. That's why they're so mm-hmm. loud. Right? Yeah. I mean, there's a billion people there. Correct. You have to speak louder <laughs> to be heard, right? right so yeah. maybe that's how I can maybe come to terms with that one. Matthew, yeah. what's something that you feel like you can try to fix? About the mainland people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, let's sorry, let's sorry, talk sorry. about the mainland. No, no, no. no, 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 no anything, yeah, what are that? Anything. Uh, I th- I think people like to associate me as a bad driver. I mean, ob- obviously lah. <laughs> I mean, my, my my number plate is P la. Then people's like, hey, this guy don't know how to drive, is it? But then for me, it's like uh, you get if, angry with people. I don't get ang- no. So 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 not to get angry. I'm yeah. like, you guys are just bad drivers lah. Oh, yeah. the one know how to drive my roads. So. Okay, <laughs> man, I don't think that's what I, I meant. <laughs> you know? No, no. I'm sorry, <laughs> try, try again. Maybe, maybe. 
That's dragon right. Dragon. Right. Maybe I should change myself. <laughs> maybe I should start putting <laughs> signal and hopefully. Oh, oh maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. Put your I'm, signal. Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's road law. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but I'm very proud of you. I think it's it's a good start. It's a good start. Wow. Thank you. Okay. I'm trying. Maybe I'm trying. you should start using signal. This week, okay? Try to. Every time what you drive, this week now? No. You go home using okay, now. Yeah. You go home. Every time you drive, try to mini- <laughs> minimum at least use two okay, times. Okay, I try, I try. Okay. Come out the parking signal already. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't care. Just... <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Okay, we oh, love that. We love that. Man. <laughs> I definitely use my signal to something, you know. It's just, uh, it's it may be a Penang thing. I just want to say, it may. No, no, no. no, no. You are feeding no. to the stereotype. We are proactive today. Yes. Right. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, man, one stereotype. I think is I think it's stereotypes as a whole, right? Just yeah. looking at, at, at stereotypes as a whole. I do not have one in particular because I would then start either calling out a race yeah. or something, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. But like, uh, for example, like the most simple thing, like uh, uh, Chinese, Chinese face confirm rich. Confirm oh. rich when you see. Oh, I wish. Thank you, you see the Chinese face. <laughs> you know, right, that he dressed a certain way. Ralph Lauren shirt. Confirm rich. Uh, <laughs> I go pavilion a lot. Go pavilion a lot. Uh, I go right. Fred Perry. Right. Hey. But I think the most ideal situation would to be looking at it and go like, oh, okay, he could be just a normal average Joe. And right, like, right. you know. Um, he stole the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if that's worse or best. Like Here we go. Pata <laughs> tum. There you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> You don't you don't find a stereotype by implying a lot. Yeah, no, 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 I don't I don't think that was where I was headed. I don't think so. Okay. But <laughs> so where were you headed? Out of the shop with the shirt. <laughs> Sorry, we're back to this. Welcome to Uniqlo. Oh <laughs> my god! But I mean, yeah, I, in a, the most ideal situation is to look at the brother and and, and and understand that hey man, he worked hard. You know, yeah. he really did yeah, work yeah. hard. He yeah. deserved to be you know be spending on Ralph Lauren shirts, you know, sure, and like yeah. expensive clothing or whatever that he's spending on. I mean, yeah, do you, bro? Yeah, do you, you, bro. you do you, boo? You know, bro, bro. Yes. Bro. Bro. Because it's a brother, bro. Yeah, I don't know why you're calling boys, bro. You do him, bro. Bro. Oh my. <laughs> Mingan, what about you? I, to be honest, I, I I I think the only stereotype that really comes to mind is uh, when traveling. La, the, the biggest stereotype that has really stood out is mainland Chinese people. Mm. I, I think because... Uh, Man, I, you, I, mu- you both must be really scarred from... It's quite bad la, sometimes. <laughs> but, but I it's feel nothing at this point. Because sometimes, you know, I think traveling brings out the worst in some people sometimes. Especially when you're very tired after like how many hours of flight. Yeah. You go into the next plane, then the guy next to you takes off his shoes and socks in front of you in the same in the same aisle. Man. And then it's 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 I think at most times the first reflex is to be annoyed. Like yeah. F yeah. stewardess, please change my seat or yeah. change this guy's seat next to me. Yeah. I didn't pay to sit six hours next to something if it. And that's actually what I've done before. So, you know, forgiveness. I just have a very sensitive nose. But yeah. I think that what I can do in, in terms of stereotyping and how I respond to that is the first reflex to it is to not be annoyed but to try and understand which is very tough, right? Very, yeah. very freaking tough. Especially when you see the P, the P number plate suddenly so in front of you that kind of thing. Hey, <laughs> you're supposed it's to... Hard. Trying to it's hard. But I'm trying to give some explanation. <laughs> he, he's getting there. He's Little getting... Little way Mingan finished right, 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 right. going in front Instead of my mind didn't see the signal light come on on the car, it's just like... I guess, you know. Maybe, maybe I'm rushing. Maybe rushing. Maybe, maybe something, he got diarrhea. Maybe, yeah. 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 So Emergency. Like, Emergency. As yeah. much as we have a million and one reasons why this should be a shit reason, yeah. there's a million and one other reasons where we yeah. can put in our head as well. Because at the end of the day, it's what we put in our head. Yeah. It might not be true. It might not. It might be true, but stereotyping, quite easy to, 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 to battle it. You think the best about the person. Yeah. If the guy take out his socks, maybe really they have been taught uh, since young to remove their shoes. Yeah. You know? And, and until in the plane. Yeah, and, until it's the plane, so really. It's sweet that you say that. Because no, it's, it's, if you think about it, it's really culture, ma, right? If you sit down somewhere, you're going somewhere, you want to, you know, it's, it's a long haul, you remove your shoes. Get comfortable. Uh, get yeah. comfortable, right? <clears throat> Unfor- and unfortunately, it's comfortable for you, but not for everyone else, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one day, one day, <laughs> when we bridge the gap from our side, you hug we can, them by the feet. We can talk to them about their, their issues that they're stereotyping the rest <laughs> of the world who's, you know, stereotyping them. Um, but yeah, I think the stereotyping just comes from a place of understanding. La. So do I stereotype yeah. the Uber driver not picking me up? 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, wow, all you all like that one. Ah. But I think the stereotyping the understanding is, I think, I think, yeah, there's some fear instilled yeah. in that Uber driver that wow. if I am a, if I'm a China Kia, I'm going to F the car up. Yeah. And that's why you don't pick me up. 
So we're getting somewhere, guys. I yeah, like this. Yeah, understanding yeah. lah. You know, like uh, that's that's pretty much it. But until today, I still cannot understand. What's the deal with the mainland and the island one? I cannot understand you this. Thing. The I just, I just. We cannot. need to do a deep dive <laughs> podcast guys, in Penang. I know what is it. Yes. You guys have to invite one mainland. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fine, yeah. We need to get it, and then we need to have the battle out. You know, yeah. Oh, who's Chakwe Tell is the best. Uh, <laughs> now <laughs> that's or who's Laksa. <laughs> now that's the. They, they, that's they, the I, they only have they have good tom yum lah. That's yeah. Tom, you see what's guys, all this? Guys, what's this, happening, guys? That that podcast is going to be the Pakio and Mayweather podcast. It's going to be Mayweather. It's going to be Mainlander and Island podcast. I love it. I yeah. think there's there's a lot of things that we talked about today. A lot of yeah. things that as well, like nobody actually has the answers for a solution. To be yeah. honest, as well, a lot of it's just understanding. And uh, this week's song recommendation, hopefully, helps you feel a little bit better. This one's by Twice. It's called Feel Special <laughs> because I I changed my song recommendation halfway. I see. If you don't feel special, this one's for you. Check it out, guys. He <laughs> thinks for me. <laughs> um, what? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's the one from Twice. Check it out. Um, also, for most- all, everyone who's listening in for the first time, I hope you guys enjoyed your first Tabletop <laughs> podcast. Um, it's a bit of a rowdy party. But oh my gosh. It's what it's like usually. Stereotypes are rowdy, guys. We are a bit... Uh, we're all work in progress, guys. I think just remember that one. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thanks so much, Matthew and Daniel for being on the podcast today. Sharing Thank your you stereotypes. for having us. If you guys want to sure. uh, yeah. you guys wanna see them, just make sure you just follow us and their socials and you'll definitely yeah. see more of their faces. Man, mm. any closing words for um, everyone who is dealing with a stereotype? Find a stereotype you're dealing with this week. Uh, walk yeah. up to the stereotype and say, "Yeah, I love you." Wow! Hey, 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 hey! hey. <laughs> oh yeah! So I love fast. you, Nathaniel. <laughs> okay, Matthew, we gotta talk to you about this. After <laughs> this. <laughs> Just make sure to put on your signals, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, this is so hard. At, yeah. I see. I know. I don't mean it that way. Huh? You know, the guy didn't signal right. You drive up to him. You put. Hey. <laughs> No way! Eh, no, no, not like that. Not like that. Okay. Not like in, a, in a loving way. In a way. loving way. In a loving way. way. And please don't ride on your window and do it on the road. The same, please okay? just. Oh my goodness! If you guys want more takeaway table podcasts, we're available on Spotify and YouTube. Check us out on we, the main thing on Instagram as well. We've got a brand new season of content coming your way on the YouTube channel as well. So get caught up to date yeah. with all the stuff. We have a great week. Happy April, guys. Happy April. Join our Discord server if you're yes. lonely. Oh my goodness! Details. We, we've got a new. Uh, we've got a new couple of new. Members in the Discord server, some of them from England. Ooh. Right? Some Malaysians in England. Yeah, Shout out to some of y'all. Got some popping people in Discord. Got some popping poppin'. people. You guys can need, you mean, just just to, to close it, like you guys, you have everything there. Go freaking lawyers to data analysts to yes. everything in the server. So yeah. come and come and It's dawn, the hive guys. mind that you've been looking for. Oh my good wow. lord. I love it. Amazing. Check us out and we'll check you out. Okay. No promises. When I check out. Ah? Peace out. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs>